सुविधा पोर्टल ऑनलाइन नॉमिनेशन डिस्कलेमर दिस ट्रेनिंग मटीरियल इज फॉर यूज इन ट्रेनिंग ऑफ इलेक्शन ऑफिशियल इट शुड नॉट बी रिफर्ड एज गाइडलाइन ऑफ दी सी आई इन केस ऑफ एनी वेरियंस इन दिस ट्रेनिंग मटीरियल आईसीआई गाइडलाइंस रूल्स लॉ शेल प्रिवेल लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन द पार्टिसिपेंट विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन ऑनलाइन नॉमिनेशन प्रोसेस थ्रू सुविधा understand various steps to fill the online nomination form they will be able to know the affidavit that is form 26 and how to fill it they will be able to generate the receipt of nomination forms they will be able to understand that it is compulsory to present a print out of the online submitted form to the returning officer having signatures of the candidate and proposers there is an optional facility for the candidates to fill the nomination form in online mode the url is shown on the screen but the physical submission of the print out of the already submitted form is must print out must be signed in ink and delivered by hand either by the candidate or by his proposer between 11 am and 3 pm to the ro or the authorized officer on the appointed date and place specified by the ro or the authorized officer the online nomination facility will be closed one day prior to the last date of nomination now we will fill the online nomination form first you have to select the language then select the which type of election you are going on if you are going on pc election that is parliamentary election then select pc if you are going for assembly election then select ac election then you have to select the election month enter your mobile number enter the captcha and submit the form now on your mobile number you will get the otp write the otp then press the verify otp button now you will get this window since you want to submit the online nomination form therefore you have to select the candidate now you will get this window press next in this window again you have to press get started now in this window just write the epic number of the candidate every details will be fetched if there is any mistake in the name of the candidate in hindi or in your vernacular language since the name is automatically translated in the hindi and the vernacular language then there is a facility that you can edit it you can correct the name or the same will be there candidate alias name will be there now select the state from which you want to contest the election write the part number your email details on your email you will get the otp then you have to write the otp and verify it your gender age your address then select save button now after pressing the save button you will get this window for the first time if you are applying the nomination form then select apply new nomination form if already you are working on the nomination form then you can select my nomination form since we are going for the new nomination form therefore we will select apply new nomination form now select the election type state name from which you are contesting the election ac name then press save and next button if you are being set up by the recognized political party then you have to select here the recognized political party means national party and the state party of your state if you are not set up by the recognized political party then you have to select here so what do we mean by the candidate not set up by the recognized political party that is registered but unrecognized political party or the state party of another state or the independent candidate if you are going for both 
then select here now browse the photo upload your photo yeah right the ec need now here you have to write the epic number of the candidate that details will be fetched if you are independent candidate or a candidate set up by the registered but unrecognized political party then the details of 10 proposals have to be filled so just write the epic number of the of the proposals then the details will be fetched by the system if you are going for the recognized political party then write the epic number of the proposal only one proposal will be needed the details of that proposal will be fetched by the system now press the save and next button now we will fill the part 3 of the nomination form if your party is a national party then select the national party if your party is a state party then select the state party fill the details then press save and next button now we will fill the form 3a the form 3a will appear on your screen fill all the details then press save and next button now we will upload the affidavit for uploading the affidavit you have to click on fill e affidavit now a pop up window will appear on your screen it is asking whether you want to fill the e affidavit if you say yes then you will be redirected to the e affidavit page so press the yes button now we will be redirected to the e affidavit page just fill the epic number the details will be fetched by the system select the state from the drop down menu name of your ac then select save and next button write the candidate details pen details and press save and next button movable assets and details will be there press save and next button after filling the immovable details press the save and next button fill the liabilities detail and press save and next button details about profession then press save and next button write your education details and then press save and next button now we will preview and finalize the affidavit for previewing the affidavit click on preview button now the affidavit will appear on your screen after reading the affidavit click on finalize button again the system will ask whether you really want to finalize the button if you are sure then press finalize button now we will upload the affidavit for uploading the affidavit select e affidavit from the drop down menu select your affidavit now the affidavit will appear on your screen if you want to download it then press the download e affidavit it will be downloaded now press the finalize button after pressing the finalize button you will get the message that your nomination is linked with the e affidavit now press the save and next button after pressing the save and next button we can preview our nomination form so just click on view application just read out the whole application then press proceed button after pressing the proceed button you will get the confirmation message click on okay now you will get the message nomination process successfully click on okay button now the details of the submitted nomination form will be there again if you want to edit it then you can if you want to delete the nomination form then you can if you want to copy nomination then you can now we will download the nomination form and take out the print out also we will download the e affidavit and take the print out since we have to submit the print out of the nomination form so you have to select 
the preferable date and time for appointment with the RO. Select your date and time, then click the proceed to confirm button. Remember, printout must be signed in ink and delivered by hand either by the candidate or by his proposer between 11 am and 3 pm to the RO or the authorized officer on the appointment date and place specified by them. In this education video, we have learned about how to fill the online nomination form. If you have any doubt or want any clarification, then you can contact through the mail as shown on the screen. For other videos on rules and regulations, you can visit the web address as shown. Thank you.